जी वी ऑल आर इन्फेक्टेड विद डिजीज कॉल लव यस भगवान सो द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड लिसनिंग टू हिम इट वाज रियली अमेजिंग इट वाज वेरी लॉजिकल रैशनल एंड एवरीथिंग वाज आई वुड से ब्लंट आल्सो फोर्थ राइट एंड दैट अट्रैक्टेड मी वेरी क्लियरली ही सेड इफ यू आर कमिंग टू मी एंड यू आर नॉट इनटू मेडिटेशन then you are not making good use of when i watched wild wild country i saw you speaking you were not there for meditation purposes even you said that's not my cup of tea right. and still you were so close to him closer than anybody else in the world i would say still how is it possible it isn't it contradictory ye ulta hai kyunki unhone bola mere kareeb hokar bhi tum mere nahi ho sakte kyunki tum dhyan nahi kar in one of his discourses as his way was amazingly humorous he said ki koi uh, bola ki aapki kitabe padhta hu aur meri factory chal rahi hai then he said humorously ki meri kitabe padhte aur factory chal rahi hai meri kitabe padhke factory band ho jaye to samajh mein aata hai <laughs> so there he said ki aap aa rahe ho kitabe pad rahe ho koi fayda nahi hai unless you meditate you're saying about it that was not your cup of tea still remain with it hmm. meditation is not for me i was in love with him and when i'm in love with him i would not waste my time with meditation for me it is a waste of time <clears throat> anyway we all fight for the time we always are used to saying time is not there or i have no time or oh i am late or that time problems exist mm-hmm. and then to take a whole hour to meditate i didn't have that luxury and i didn't want that luxury probably if i would have meditated but one wouldn't have looked at me <laughs> meditation is to slow you down mm-hmm. because our mind moves at a jet speed and we don't take a break so that's what he probably meant i don't know but he has never asked me to meditate that much i can tell you okay but why and i have never meditated hmm. work was my thing working with his dream to bring his dream to reality was my utmost pleasure and i worked hard yes of course <laughs> <laughs> and ma'am uh, like meditation you said uh, you were in love with him so you didn't need to meditate right but meditation no, as said no i didn't say by... i didn't need to i did not okay. but why did you not because you didn't need you didn't feel the need as you were in love with him I was in love with him that was my need and meditation was for me a waste of time it's a big statement uh uh-huh. yeah because his all the preachings means conclude that meditation is everything meditation is the basically source to be one with the one whether you call it master or lord through master we get uh, you know into the gates of heaven or we can say we merge into lord through meditation and through master and it was wastage of time for you it was i t- it reminds me of my early years with bhagwan <clears throat> i was at a camp meditation camp bhagwan had said you come see la for meditation camp he says i go it's not a issue and he used to sit among us when people are meditating mm. and he had two three helpers uh 
in a meditation area. And I was there also. So everybody closed their eyes and started meditating uh, as an exercise or whatever. I was not ready to close my eyes. He sits in front of me, I'm going to close my eyes. Mm -mm. No, that's stupid, I'm not. It's not logical for me. And I was just looking at him, enjoying this beautiful face and a beautiful person. So one of the helper came to me and tried to tell me, close your eye. I ignored, comes again, close your eyes. And from podium, he says, Naren, it was Naren writing, leave her. He, he knew my need. Mm. And I truly, at any cost, would not have closed my eyes. But if he's there. Isn't it physical then? Rather than spiritual? Who cares? Why make a difference? But we go to the master for spiritual purposes. Yeah, I didn't go to master for spiritual purposes. I didn't. I went with my father. Yeah, but for and what And I purpose? fell in love with him. But uh, before seeing him, like your father told you to visit there, so for what purpose did you get ready to see a person? When father says, okay. there's no point of argument, for me at least not. I love father too. Your body gestures are very similar to Osho. Oh yeah. Seriously, the way you're looking, the way you're moving your hand, that is uh, just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Seriously, the way you're lifting your hand up, and the way you are looking, that is just similar to him. It is because of love. Fourteen years I have lived yes. with him. Yes. Something will rub off maybe. What was Osho according to you? Like he was a saint or he was a philosopher? He was a saint like Kabir Sahab, like Bulle Shah or like some other saints? A man, a beautiful man. Not a saint? Don't need saints. We need? You may need, but I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you, he was a beautiful man. Yeah. And for most of the people, I guess. But in general, suppose uh, you are not you. I can what? only talk to you about Osho or Bhagwan. What is my experience? Otherwise, it will be coffee, uh, coffee room gossip. Mm. And my experience... He's a beautiful man. Have you gone through some spiritual experiences also? Meeting him, if there is not spiritual, what is spiritual? But God realization through master's realization? Nonsense. God is nonsense. Master realization is nonsense. I am a simple person. I fell in love. And that's enough for me. Okay, after getting separated from him, even then you did not think of God and God realization because no. then you were... He was my God. What will I think about God? So you were completely submissive. Call what you want to call. But this kind of devotion, this height of devotion, height of love, then how can there be a single even hint of conflict between these two? Why not? We both are humans. We both are human <clears throat> and conflict is nothing wrong. It shows that your mind is still active and you need this activity of the mind. Even Osho has also talked about it. So, it can't be one, but it can be one. So, that symbolizes he when we uh, merge into the Lord we lose our identity and when we lose our identity then there is no uh, space for the conflict I don't even think about it 
for me, he was just like me, a beautiful person. And rest, world can think what world wants to think about. But your relation was uh, with him was not only personal, but official also. You were running his whole commune. Definitely, he trusted me, yes. which showed his love for me. But we trust so many people officially and we don't love them. But we are not comparing with you. I, I am in no comparison with anybody. You are running a whole commune. You are doing every, you, means everything that you could do. And people are visiting there. So they were visiting there for spiritual purposes. And if you think that he cannot get them spiritual benefits or you don't call him a saint, then you were helping him to, like, uh, I would uh, be, I think, rude if I use the word cheat. Like, was he cheating people by saying he is a okay. spiritual guru? You go in a movie, or you are a producer of the movie, I go see this movie. Some other viewer liked the movie, I don't like it. But that is not your responsibility, because you produced the movie that was important for you. You had a concept. You brought it in a screen. Now, if somebody says, I didn't get my money's worth, if you're generous, return me back the money. But it is nobody's responsibility. Mm. Thank you. We all are there not by force. We were there from our own willingness. I went with my father and then for me this movie was fantastic. I didn't want to come out of the theater. I remained there. Somebody else comes and for them this movie was not worth. Maybe they come for their spirituality, maybe they come to learn something from the one, and they didn't find it. But it is not the responsibility of the one or a person who manages things for him. I am not there to prove but one right or wrong. Mm. I am there if somebody wants to know my experience of Bhagwan, mm. to narrate it, to say it. I find so many contradictions in his teachings. Right. right. When you listen to his course, discourse one, he will talk about the things and you will agree because he will give the logics rationally. When you listen to his discourse too, that would be contradicting to discourse one and still you will agree to that also. But in my opinion, like spirituality should not have uh, that contradiction. Look around you, life is itself contradiction. You have life, you have death, you have sun, you have moon. You have light, you have darkness. You have men, you have women. So that These is, are all contradictions. This is contradiction or two sides of a coin? You want to talk about through this question that you are, you want to become somebody. But you can become somebody by simply being yourself without reason, this argument. You cannot give a frame where the picture doesn't fit. For me, spirituality is acceptance. Spirituality is 
humbleness it's very very difficult to move on and in your case uh, it was uh, far beyond a normal relationship because the circumstances that you have gone through you have the words that you have heard after that separation still i find you talking so lovingly about him and uh, i i have never ever seen such a person so uh, was it very difficult for you to move on and how did you like get that strength and how was it how did you manage it was the same energy that i had when i was near him gave me the strength to walk away from him of course when you separate from such a close relationship it is difficult uh you feel sad but i had learned from him that love should not be crippling love is a strength but it is not a weakness it becomes weakness when you become dependent mm. yeah. and mm-hmm. i was independent like somebody said i want to be a sanyasi but i don't want to wear that robe and there is a proper discourse of uh, osho giving him uh, advices on means like don't care for people what they talk about your robes and all you just it is your own decision so it was his discourse that he was telling people to wear robes after you uh, left that uh, oregon he was saying like it was sheela's uh, arrangement i was never into that arrangement so uh, this i want to know from you <laughs> well he can say what he wants to say i give him full independence to say things it was not mine because people were wearing colors of sunrise even before i came to okay. bhagwan in 70s okay it was before you went there yeah okay that was part of his initiation process okay that people wear colors of sunrise mm-hmm. defining that they have now entered a path of learning and wear a mala mm. with his photo but i'm glad he gives me the credit for it <laughs> ma'am you're taking it as a credit but he blamed you for that oh yeah this is and i'm still alive huh? uh-huh. <laughs> after his blame uh-huh. you cannot go with preconceived idea that my guru should be like this or my master should be like this no how your master is that's how he is now if you want to learn from him then you be humble enough to gaze into him and learn from him without but and without expectations and conditions but ma'am then it won't be very difficult to find a true master because now see, you, you can see there are so do you want to find a true master take any master it doesn't matter you turn him into true master is it logically possible it is not logic to tell someone else to be other than they are where is logic there it is that simple drop your spirituality in garbage can and just try to be yourself he used to be managed by ma lakshmi i guess right you know but no where her where abouts are mentioned like how she uh, never turned up i think she was in pune time pune where mm. i was also there i was her secretary 
Lakshmi was Book One secretary mm. and I was Lakshmi oh. secretary. Then we moved to US and Bhagwan said to Lakshmi to stay in India and take care of okay. Indian ashram. But she didn't want to. She wanted also to be near Bhagwan. Okay. And Bhagwan didn't want her to be secretary anymore. But it, she took it very hard. Okay. And then uh, visa problems and things. So I was told by Bhagwan, don't get involved, stay out of it. Mm. And uh, you do your work. And when Bhagwan says you do your work, mm. it's clear to me. Okay. So I didn't get involved and I don't know, but I have in recent year read that uh, she had died of cancer oh. but what cancer or anything i don't know mm -hmm. i don't meet with any uh, sannyasins or anything like that that i could ask about who knows about lakshmi ma'am what lesson have you learned out of this all what I have learned from Bhagwan is to be in the moment and accept myself and accept others. Uh, you found that Oregon place, right? Yes. We call it Oregon, right? Uh, it state is Oregon. Okay. And the place we found was in central Oregon. Okay. It is a ranch. Ranch means big land. Okay. So do you think like uh, it was not a good decision to be at Oregon? If you people were in India only, then the things would have changed? We tried to look at the land or the find land in India, but it was not possible to buy. <clears throat> we were looking for almost four or five years, I and Lakshmi, together. Mm. Because it was Indira Gandhi's emergency okay. rule. Emergency rule, you cannot buy or sell mm. okay. uh, lands and uh, buildings. Mm. Plus, you make an agreement as soon as you accept the agreement, they raise the price in India. Mm. It was not ethical. Mm. <coughs> Business ethics were mm. failing here. And the land we in Oregon found, it was long lasting. Five mm. years, that too in Bhagwan's style, mm. nobody in the world will accept. India didn't accept Bhagwan when Bhagwan was in Pune. Mm -hmm. It was because India didn't allow him to do the things what he wanted to do. He went out. And his lovers collectively showed courage and strength and within first three years, we had built the city. Uh, Ma'am, do you know about his uh, younger brother, Shailendra Osho? I have Osho. heard something, uh, hmm. some people have. He's running his ashram in Haryana. Mm -hmm. And in one of the Osho's discourses, I have heard that he declared he did not have any uh, predecessor, neither he would have any successor. But Osho Shailendra claims to be his successor. So, that's okay, Osh, okay, but, but you that don't is uh, Shailendra's I problem, know. not Bhagwan's problem. Mm, I understand. And if you follow Shailendra, no, I don't. that's your problem then, mm. not mine. No, I don't follow him. No, but what I'm mm. saying is... Mm. Uh, okay, it would be my last question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what was your goal then and what is your goal now? I have no goal. Then too, I, I had no goal. I just fell in love. 
and falling in love is no goal because you lose your ball mm -hmm. and you lose your game too there. Mm -hmm. And now I am, I'm simply enjoying my last years of life. Uh, and I do work what I can a little bit. I uh, try to uh, help where I can help people. When he was alive, and after your separation, before his passing away, you never felt like you will again be with him sometime? No. And maybe not reunion, but a normal conversation, normal, just to normalize the things. I have been asked such question, if Bhagwan would walk here, what would be your reaction? I would get up and greet him. I would touch his feet. That would be normal for me. To return back, because he has also said somewhere in discourses, Sila can come back and she will have her own position back. Okay, he said. Etc. Yeah, somewhere somebody okay. told me about it. But I didn't leave him because. I was tired of position. I was tired of? Position. Okay. Hmm. I left him because of my own integrity. Hmm. I did not want to break my integrity. It's simple. Hmm. And I have learned from Bhagwan himself. When you move forward, burn your bridges behind. Hmm. Followed his teaching. Well, it was very nice talking to you, ma'am. And I really, again, thank you from the bottom of yeah. my heart that you gave me time. Which, Definitely. Uh, and I hope I didn't waste your time. <laughs> what is waste now? At this age, you know, everything is okay. Although my questions were more, but they were all spiritual. So... I have a word. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm useless for spiritual. No, question. but they, they, there is a lot to learn from you. This is, you ask the question mm -hmm. uh, what I do mm -hmm. uh, this day. So I, uh, I have a small organization okay. um, in Baroda to help street people. Okay. You can look at it. Mm -hmm. And I live in Switzerland. Oh, you are in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And there I live life with my community, which mm -hmm. is team of my workers mm -hmm. and team of my uh, patients. Mm -hmm.